Hey guys, um, I guess you probably heard recently, or you might not know, but Dallas Singer um, fractured his ankle uh, in Santiago while on the Flow Rider. It's a stationary wave, and uh, so I thought I'd give him a call and uh, see how he's going and what he's going to be doing um, on his road to recovery, and more importantly, how he actually did it. To have him talk us through it, give, him a, give us a blow by blow account of what happened. Let's get hold of Dal. Dal Singer, everybody. So, Dell, talk, talk me through it. Where, where, did it ha where did it happen? What happened was we had a, a week between the, the Chile and Brazil comps, obviously, and everyone done a bunch load of different stuff. Um, you know, a few guys went up to Peru, and, um, you know, a few other guys went somewhere else, and I just happened to go to Santiago with, with Michael Novi and Sam Strachan. Um, what we did was just plan a day to go down to the, um, to the wave pool here and, um, you know, just have a like a fun little session, <laughs> fun little session um, surfing for, um, for an hour or so and then planning on having some lunch and, you know, just chilling out for the rest of the hour, but uh, it all happened differently. Well, what were you doing on the wave when it happened? I tried to do a four of the lip, like just try and drag, drag the, um, drag the fort out a bit more. I mean, it wasn't anything, it wasn't anything like too crazy, like we'd been doing it all morning, so, you know, it didn't seem out of the ordinary to do it, but... Yeah, I've just kind of come down wrong and um, like just come down flat, I guess. It's really weird. I don't know if you've set the wave pool before, but yeah, I've, I've done the one sort of in South Africa. It spits you out the other end. So you get spat out the other end, and it all it usually just happens by itself most of the time. But yeah, this time I just sort of landed awkwardly, I guess. I must have come down on you know one of my legs and just hit the side rail, I guess. Yeah. And um, now it's kind of like falling with a bunch of water behind you, so you got a bunch more force. And um, yeah, unfortunately, my left ankle just sort of like hit this bar, and um, yeah, yeah, kind of fractured it in two places. As soon as I popped out the other end, my foot was almost at a right angle to my leg. Really? Um, yeah, I was like, oh, it's dislocated, so I just grabbed it, popped it back in. And as soon as I popped it back in, there's this incredible pain just coming on me, and um, you know, it's. Uh, yeah, for the next couple of hours, I was in pretty bad pain. I seen the uh, X-rays not long after, and you know, both you know, you got two bones coming down to your foot, which is your fibula and your tibia. Uh, like you were saying, you broke your um, tibia not long ago. And yeah. That's kind of yeah, like a cracked, a cracked bit of the tibia, um, and the fibula are kind of broken. I think almost or pretty much broken. So um, what they did was just put me straight into surgery. Uh, within like an hour, I was in the operation room. No way. So. Show us what your leg looks like. Um, you reckon you can do that? Bad, man. It's kind of pretty. I've got the boot off, so it's looking a lot better. <laughs> Some shots of the x-ray, that could be interesting. Hold on one yeah. sec. Yeah, give us a little view. So here we have um, some pins <laughs> coming down there, yeah. don't move, and then a little screw going in over there. So the screw is on the, on the outside of your ankle, right? Yeah, well, this is the tibia, the bit, the bit yep. that um, is the weight-bearing bit. Yeah. So that was just a, I had a small fracture there, so that what they've had to do is put a screw through there. Mhm. Mm um, I'm no expert, but <laughs> apparently that helps. And um, yeah, it, it looks kind of scary when I first seen it. I'll check out that. Uh, from what you know, from what the doctor tells me, he's, he's a really cool bloke, and um, he's just telling me, you know, your ankle's going to be even stronger than it was before. Yeah, you had a bit more hardware in your ankle than me. I just uh, was lucky <laughs> yeah, enough to get go? it. I got. I just got a couple of screws over the top. Okay. So titanium. You yeah. Know, it's just only the best for me. You know, top dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just got brass. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, where would you where would you put this? One being a paper cut. <laughs> <laughs> Make it ten paper cuts. <laughs> really? no, I'm fine now. I'm just waiting around for the um, insurance company to sort it out. So. Hopefully be home by the end of the week. Yeah, where does this leave you for the rest of this year's world tour? Yeah, well, you know, obviously the I won't be doing Brazil, which starts tomorrow. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I guess my goal now is just to kind of build my ankle, you know, strength up to um, be able to come to Mexico, which is in about eight weeks. Well, Dell, yeah. um, I wish you the speediest of recoveries and. Uh, Feel free to chat to me during the Brazil contest. I'll be up all night. Okay, Dell, have a good day. Alright, uh, mate, thanks. See you later. Bye. Yeah. So there you go, guys. That was Dallas. You've been watching The Shaggy Show.